All right, I have some breaking news to share. By now, you've probably heard that new names have been revealed in McMahon's lawsuit. And Janelle Grant's attorney, Ann Callis, has confirmed that these names are correct. So here's the big reveal. Corporate officer number one has been identified as WWE president Nick Khan. In the lawsuit, this officer is described as a high-ranking employee and board member at WWE during Ms. Grant's employment with WWE. Khan is accused in the lawsuit of knowing who Grant was and the type of relationship she had with McMahon. Khan allegedly would assist in maintaining a position for Ms. Grant at WWE, as well as providing advancement opportunities for Ms. Grant, despite being aware of the alleged sexual exploitation she was subjected to. While Nick Khan is not personally accused of any sexual misconduct or violence, it is alleged that he, along with others, facilitated and covered up the exploitation in ways that make WWE liable under Title 18, U.S. Code, subsection 1591, which is the federal anti-trafficking law. Corporate officer number two has been identified as WWE Chief Operating Officer Brad Blum. In the lawsuit, this officer is described as a high-ranking employee at WWE who made hiring decisions, conducted prospective employee interviews, and maintained significant control over personnel decisions. According to the lawsuit, Grant allegedly met with Blum in 2019 at WWE headquarters to help her find a position at the company. And Blum is also accused of tipping off McMahon about rumors of his relationship with Grant circulating around the company. And like Nick Khan, Blum has not been personally accused of any sexual misconduct or violence. But it is alleged that he, along with others, facilitated and covered up the exploitation in ways that make WWE liable under Title 18, U.S. Code Subsection 1591, which again is the federal anti-trafficking law. Corporate Officer Number 3 has been identified as former WWE Chair and Co-CEO Stephanie McMahon. Stephanie, daughter of Vince McMahon, is accused in the lawsuit of knowing of other instances of McMahon engaging in inappropriate sexual conduct. She is also being accused of inviting Ms. Grant to sit near her during a WWE executive committee meeting, which the lawsuit alleges was attended by individuals who either had direct knowledge of Vince's sexual exploitation of Ms. Grant or who were otherwise suspicious and Stephanie stepped down from her roles in the company in September 2023. And corporate officer number four has been identified as Brian Nurse, former general counsel and head of WWE's legal department. According to the lawsuit, Nurse was allegedly warm with other colleagues, but cold towards Grant due to his suspicions about her relationship with McMahon. And the lawsuit also notes that his behavior toward Ms. Grant allegedly shifted from cold to hostile. And this is the individual that would stop and change directions if he was walking toward Ms. Grant in the hallway. And Nurse was terminated from WWE in November 2020. As reported by FrontOfficeSports.com, a spokesperson for WWE said in response to these claims, WWE takes Ms. Grant's allegations very seriously and has no tolerance for any physical abuse or unwanted physical contact. Neither Nick Khan nor Brad Blum, prior to the lawsuit being filed on January 25th, 2024, were aware of any allegation by Ms. Grant that she was the victim of abuse or unwanted physical contact, nor does the complaint allege that either had knowledge of such. And checking in with the docket, we can see it's still quiet on this front. The page was last updated March 13th, which is today, and as you can see, nothing new on the docket since February 2nd. And in other related news, it looks like WWE is slowly bringing Brock Lesnar back into the fold. Lesnar had been blacklisted by the company 
after rumors circulated that he was allegedly the unnamed WWE superstar mentioned in Janelle Grant's lawsuit. Is Lesnar's return an indication that those allegations were incorrect? I guess time will tell. But then, if it's not Lesnar, who really is the unnamed WWE superstar? All of that breaking news, and probably some I'm not even aware of, and still, this is the only picture we have of Janelle Grant. Part 6 of McMahon's Last Stand, which is my series covering the lawsuit page by page, is also available now, so be sure to check that out as well. A link to all the videos in the series, so far, can be found in the description box. So that's the news, and I'll bring you notable updates like this as more information is revealed. Links to sources I used for this video are in the description box. I'm Am K. you've been watching Skizzle 11 As always, thanks for listening to what I have to say, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Bye!